Hello guys. Today in this episode I will show you screen mirroring project with touch controller. If you don't watch previous video, firstly go check it. And let's begin. In first video already we live stream on ESP32, but take a lot of comment add a touch control support. So I think why not? In this tutorial I will show how to work. Again, in Tehan's project, we are use ESP32 S316, megabytes flash, and 8 megabytes PiceRAM, and also ILI9341 display. If you don't how to use this panel with ESP32 S3, you can watch this tutorial. I am show all you need to know. Click on cards or all you need links are in description. Let's begin in Arduino. You need to change a few things in code, but before, you must be installed this libraries. Links or description. After installed libraries, set your Wi Fi credential. Scrolling page, we see automated touch calibration function. This function called in setup, and every restart your ESP32 it's calling again, but you can change. When first time code upload and touch calibrate is done, you can see config values on serial monitor. Copy this values and go to setup section. Find this line and get comment. Underline is uncomment and change it values with yours. One thing important, never forget enabled PiceRAM. Now upload again. As you can see, start with Wi-Fi setup. Copy this up address we use later in Python script. You can't see again calibration screen. Other code is completely same, don't change anything. Let's continue with Python script. You need Python ID, VS Code, and VS Code Python extension. First, go to this link, download Python latest version, and install. Not need to know special thing, just next and next. After go to this link, download VS Code latest version and install. Again, just click next. Now open script with VS Code. In VS Code, go to extension section, write in search box Python and click on enter. Scene Python extension, select and install. After we are ready to code. This Python script capture screen image and send on Wi-Fi to ESP32. First, scene libraries we need to install. Don't worry, it's so simple. Run code get error, see what is missing. Open terminal panel in right there. Pip install what you need. Installation is done. Resume code view. Change it with your ESP32 IP. We going target FPS 12, cause I have Wi-Fi lag. If you have good Wi-Fi go higher, monitor. If you use multiple screen, must be choose target display, or leave a default one. Next JPEG, change 10 to 60. Going 10 quality is down or going higher quality is better. I use 35, that's enough. Cause if, if you set higher quality and same JPEG bigger file size, we don't want, don't change chunk size. Resize method you can use by linear or nearester. Nearester is much faster. Scrolling, in this part, if you use code this way, only move cursor on screen like that you cannot click, or activated this line, and this time where you were click on touch display, like click on PC screen, as like that, rest of script exactly same, don't change anything. Write in comment what you will see next, like and share this video, and hit that subscribe button. See you in next project.